Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So, so yeah, unfortunately we did have a bit of a gap uh, in our uploading schedule, so I do apologize for that. I just wasn't able to record, but I have done a few things off camera, so there's quite a few things to, uh, yeah, go through. Well, shall we start? So, I guess, we will, we'll, since we're already by the reservoir here, why don't we have a look at what we've done. I have started moving these water pumps a little bit uh, further up onto the reservoir and um, although water isn't very problematic right now I think in the future we may just raise this uh, water reservoir a little bit more now as you may have noticed I have also done gates in all four access points to the hill so one is being constructed here but I think we were a little low on the let's have a look Blanks, yeah, so they are pretty low, but all four should be running right now. And uh, we've also started to build up the levee wall for the castle as well. So let's go around. We have introduced another point of entry just through here. And I think that's the uh, going to be the main entrance. This one uh, shall disappear very, uh, very shortly. Uh, I just have to rearrange some of the distribution in here, which I have already cleared a couple of drop-off points right about there. So this one's for the logs. We also have a bit of scrap metal, and it seems nothing in there just yet, but that is that is okay. Now, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, a few more beaver pods. The population has skyrocketed, and there's about 205 of those little beavers. And we've done the same on the opposite side as well. Uh, just to give it a bit more direct access over to the, uh, well, what is soon to be a theme park. What is going on here? Oh, we are missing just one link. Well, there we go. Let's have a look. How far can our beavers go? Yep, that is pretty, pretty good distance, actually. So this is probably where we end the district for the Dragon's Keep and start the new theme park uh, district in the in the future right so th let's take a look at this here as well we have already put down the blueprint for the efficient mine i think it's time that we now finally start producing some scrap metal right about there and i have changed a few things around with the housing as well so first of all some more houses were obviously needed so i've decided to put in those row houses and since it is a bit of an industrial block that we have in here, I have also replaced the, what are they, the, the shrubs with the power lines or the power shafts to make it, a, make it look a little bit more industrious. I do still want to put a few decorations or add some more in here and I guess we could do a few platforms and maybe a shrub or if we wanted to we could raise this up with platforms and then Put another house, but I think that's going to be a little bit too high, especially once we get up there. Yeah, so we might just do shrubs for the for the time being. But for now, this is what it uh, is going to look for for quite some time. And uh, and yeah, now in the farming section, we now have. Oh, well, we are going to have to go a little bit lower. So let's scroll down a few more levels. We've got the canal in, and well most of this place is now finally green uh, so let's go right back up there and we've got a few water plants growing about here as well i think we don't really need those roads but for the time being yeah they don't really bother us too much because we're not doing much with the plants anyways right and the forest is a little bit bigger as well and then up there well not so much we are gonna have to bring in some metal to put those nicer fences in place but we've done the same thing just a bit of a canal that keeps this whole area nice and lovely so all it needs now is i'm thinking uh maybe a similar i'm not sure if it's exactly the same but a similar gate that we have in dragon's keep just to the temple area and probably a few uh, scarecrows as well to make it look a bit more uh, spooky, I suppose. Few of those lakes have also been lowered a few levels, just a few. Right, we'll speed up for the night portion of the of the day. Let's have a look. 
over here right okay so that's where quite a bit of time went into as well because i did want to keep a little bit more water in this area so we have managed to put in some levees and some dams to both of those sides i initially started building it here but then i realized hey that's not really needed so yeah so this area can stay green for a little bit well not for the whole duration of this new drought that we have at our hands right now but no it uh, it will be okay right so moving on let's take a look at what shall we be building today i've just done so many small things everywhere that i can't quite remember what else did i do since our last episode but that doesn't matter i'm sure we'll notice a few things here and there so i think the focus for this episode is going to try and build up this castle and initially what i was thinking i remember i was thinking in the same in iron teeth series as well and to make it look a little bit more interesting i wanted to actually use those row houses and to give it a bit of different texture but then i realized well this area is pretty big and that's just gonna be full of notifications unless we let the beavers live on those houses uh, which obviously i do not want to do i just want to use them for decoration purposes but yeah levies it is and uh honestly i'm so happy that we managed to finally find out that there's a way to switch between the different styles and things as well so coming onto this corner obviously this is going to take quite a lot of time and and eat a lot of logs now in this district we only have what are you 300 although in this one we have about 1600 so we'll definitely transport you over but we'll start with this corner and what i want to do in different parts of the dragon's keep is to put in uh, kind of like towers in place not entirely sure if it's i don't think it's going to be symmetrical actually now that i really think about it uh partly because in here the houses are already in place and we can't build above them with levees at least and the platforms aren't gonna look as good so so yeah that's what the beavers are doing here right now now for the uh, is that the height the wall is going to be yes i believe for now i think i do want them about the same height uh as the as the gates yeah we probably don't want to go any higher what i was thinking on the uh, on the corners what we can do is either to the beaver ponds because they have this really lovely purple tint uh, in that pool over there or we could do roofs as well one or the other way not really sure let's have a look which one might look better i th think uh that's a tough choice well let's do both of them and one of them uh, shall stay and the other one well probably is going to disappear now all those walls we are of course going to have to provide some walkways and wait a second this isn't yeah 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 okay so you are gonna have to go okay get up the, uh, the stairs there we go off from here and we'll connect them up with bridges as well so they can just scoot over from one side to another but yeah essentially stairs on both sides so they can have access to build those uh, levy uh, lovely lovely uh, levy walls and we shall continue with the rest in here as well so let's grab a few we'll toggle the faction go for the folk tales and we'll just keep placing down as many as many as we can uh they do have ladders here so that's good they can probably build the base layer from the water unless oh yeah we were dynamiting this as well of course we were and now we can do the same just a little bit more a couple of walls and there we go actually why don't we detonate it yeah they can do one line at a time this is going to be closed up as well because now the access to the um, to the water pumps is going to be through this gate here they do have access to build this right uh, we're just waiting for the materials so what are we missing planks we have so it must be a metal yes it is okay that is fine oh yeah and i had to replace or move around those builder huts as well because they were kind of in our way a little bit but that's just a minor thing all we lost was a few resources here and there how are we doing oh this tower here by the way is just to measure what is the maximum height so if we take the platform can't really 
place anything above this one anymore. So that is the highest. In case we wanted to do some sort of like a, a watchtower somewhere, maybe one in here, one on the other side as well. Or maybe some kind of a higher landmark in the future. Okay, let's speed up the time as well. It is getting a little bit darker. Now, log situation, 244. Okay, so it's not too bad. We should be still sending some in. Yes, we are. Dragons keep via this one. And food-wise, let's have a quick check as well. 2,600 loads of bread thanks to these two grist mills in here. And, well, yeah, I guess it's just that one bakery, isn't it? Yeah, we do not have another one in here. But it seems to be bringing in quite a bit of bread, so that's fantastic as well. From the initial district, I don't think we are going to have to bring in any more bread. So we can probably cancel you. Yes, we can. Let's keep it on two times speed. Now, with the logs, I would like to increase it a lot. And um, I know I've said that this is not permanent solution here, and that is correct. What I am thinking, however, is that the good-looking beaver had a, a very interesting uh, proposal for us to create a district that is well which purpose is purely just forestry and uh, so everything is going to be very sort of low no high rises but in the middle if this was all forest in the middle we could just build like a massive uh, statue or landmark using all the different building blocks that are available to us so i've been thinking this could be one of those districts where we have like a very tiny small village that supports the population with food so minimal farming uh, but the rest of this could pretty much probably go and yeah turn it into all forestry area i mean we've got so much um, or so many maples here already so why don't we just expand in this area and uh, farms well this platform here that we have, well, it's, it's kind of a peninsula. I guess it is once the river goes or starts flowing through this uh, little canal here as well. But uh, this could be the extension of our farms on uh, on that side of the land. When it comes to these trees, I am thinking to actually, let's give it a try. If we were to move this forestry, let's say, how about somewhere there? We'll pause you or lower the priority a little bit and this building would have quite a bit of reach right yeah so all the logs could be delivered in from there i mean we'll probably leave uh, still a few trees and make this area look a little bit a little bit nicer but i would like to have a lot more farms right in front of them as well should still have a lot of wheat right yeah 100 and oh actually just 200 so the wheat farms will have to expand just a tiny bit as well and another thing I do want to do right about here, maybe get rid of these log fences and put a row through the middle or maybe to the side here so they would have access to the farms right behind them as well. Or another option, of course, could be that the farms are connected to this main road here, uh, which I guess means we don't want them running all the way around to reach the grist mills in here. We will still have to connect them somewhere in the middle. Right, let's take a look at our levee wall, and that is actually yeah, that's pretty pretty good. Now for the uh, for the corner bits, if we go into decorations, what are we able to place on top here? Well, we could do gates or the fences, but not sure if that is exactly what we what we we're hoping for. Yeah, so maybe just a couple of roof bits. Let's toggle the faction again and get the iron teeth ones and maybe maybe we are gonna have to do them this way that seems to give us a little bit more vision but the corner bit is a little bit annoying uh, there isn't really anything we can use and it would be awesome if that actually faces or if we could rotate it diagonally as well so it faces towards towards this way right what uh, what other options do we have we could put another oh wait that was quick uh maybe i should have paused it I mean, these levees could give it a bit of a more of a castle-y look, I suppose. Or maybe we should do another levee on top of them. Let's have a look. If we stick you right about there, go back into decorations. What about if uh, these corner bits were one level higher? Ooh, that could be interesting as well. And uh, do you know what? Do not 
actually build these just yet because if this is a better option then yeah that's probably something we do want to go for instead it's quite a few things to do now have you already planted these ones no okay so you probably have a a lot to do here how about you guys still quite a few maples okay okay that's fine and the water is sitting here very nicely i think we did solve or manage to fix the uh, over flooding issue as well and the solution for that really was can we scroll down please uh was to get rid of those dams yep so there was one over here which i removed and one right about here actually yeah that was a little bit annoying because uh wait what happened what did we build uh maybe the forest there and there was an extra one here as well but that was no problem okay let's have a look what is your problem um you know what why don't you yeah start planting lots of trees in this area and can we do a few more yes we can of course and maybe same right about well all the way through here you should have plenty of things to do now yep off you go get on with it now let's have a look at our farming area real quick as well when we check the food i think blueberries we uh, we should be fine bread definitely enough uh carrots very low actually so maybe that is something we need to expand as well potatoes are fine they're sort of sitting there but that's also because we are exporting them to this district in yeah yeah quite a few okay not like a crazy amount but just about enough so what we uh, shall do in here let us oh uh, we are gonna go ha have to go back to the folk tales and let's expand this farming area just a little bit so right about there and maybe a bit down as well and we should also tell you maybe don't plant any more trees let's say about there and all this area shall turn into where are the crops there we go and why don't we just do lots of carrots in here let's see your range oh actually it goes pretty far i do have a feeling we'll need another farming station oh uh, yeah but that's also our access well i guess we could put another farming station right about there so that should be fine but you might be in our way so how about we fix that future future problem right away as well by doing the storages yeah those four should be fine and maybe a high priority yeah get those done they don't really require any resources so and we'll empty these two okay fantastic let's jump back to two times the uh, speed uh yeah these trees will take quite a long time well that's okay now let's take a quick look i think we'll go with the one level up uh, solution so a few more levies toggle the faction and off you go we can do another one here oh wow they've done quite a few levies in this area already and here's our towers you should be there okay looking good mm, well these roofs are facing this way okay experimenting time once again i'm not entirely well then it's gonna all look the same now nah, let's let's do it this way they were iron teeth ones right yeah yeah they were okay good power wise mm -hmm. supply seems to be pretty low even those large windmills are producing a lot what about you okay so you are receiving resources which is good let's see our planks okay so they've gone up as well fantastic just need a lot of gears but we do have some just maybe not enough but power does seem to need or require a bit of an upgrade right few dynamites are in place however that does not seem enough okay that should be okay I know the water level has dropped in here and we are draining it out from that side but we should be always able to top it up now that we have quite a bit more water in this area here 
Okay, yeah, we should probably get rid of all of you as well. So let's do a few dynamites. Where are you? Landscaping uh, back to Bog Nails. And just like so. And you know what? Why don't you do all these first? Yeah, this side is should be okay. You're not really emptying those because we don't have the hauling post in here. Uh, okay, fine. How about we place a hauling post right about there. And maybe we can uh, ship over just a few beavers as well. Right, where were we? We were looking at this spot here. So what I'd like to do is connect this power since it's um, partly for decoration purposes but also you know it, it will have a function of passing this power through and even though this section here has its own windmill but when there is no wind this one power wheel is not gonna be enough so yeah we'll definitely I am thinking probably demolishing this section here as well lower it by one level and let the power maybe even go underneath the forestry so if we take you out we could put our transformers or the power lines and connect them up with the with this crisp mills in there should we want to do that uh in case we do doesn't really matter i suppose because the power shall be going through here to some other districts as well wait how big were you two oh we might not be able to let's have a quick look that's five. Oh yeah i guess if we made this bridge a little bit smaller we could pull, uh, put a roof above it or we just pass the power through from yeah from the sides not entirely sure but i think we should be fine we can probably bring you let's see if we do something like that could go in here down again and straight yep okay uh we should be able to place a few more dynamites maybe a stair set of stairs and then we can get rid of the rest as well but for the power lines what i'd like to do is just spin them around a little bit we are gonna need a t-junction one right about there connect you up and then we just keep going this way and i'm not sure if this is going to be too high or maybe not ah uh, yeah let's see we did have some decorations in here before let's jump in here again we've got a beaver statue yeah let's do the iron teeth one dirty metal oh that is pricey how much metal do we have again and we've got some scrap in here not a lot i guess this metal is going elsewhere right now logs Three the planks are in fantastic some gears already as well so that's not too bad however power is still not enough right so the power is already going through here which is great now we just need to oh uh, okay we are gonna have to take all of you out and then pass it through here oh right i remember why i removed this road from there well there we go you can probably disappear as well let us grab a couple more platforms okay beautiful highest priority let's get you done and then uh, yeah we shall feed the power lines right through here and in the future if we need to take this off elsewhere we can all obviously reconnect them and rearrange things and right same over there now that's going to be a little bit annoying since, yeah, we are going to need to place some platforms on top. Actually, we don't. Let's take you out because if I remember correctly, we are going to do the, the stairs as well. So the wall, one empty and then wall, one empty and then we are going to go up. Okay. Ooh, but we might not have enough space in here. Well, I guess it's just going to have to be a little bit shorter than it is on the other side. And these walls are, yeah, they're going to be a bit problematic. Okay, problem for the future me. But for the time being, yeah, this is pretty much what our castle uh, shall look like in the, in the future. And we're just going to keep building this along all the way around as well. And what we'll do in the future episodes... We're just gonna 
you know complete the section at a time so for example now we've already got the um, some of the levies from iron teeth series in so that's pretty good i think in the next one we'll just carry on giving them a bit more access from this side and yeah let's try and put another tower right on this corner as well which probably means we are gonna have to rearrange some of those water tanks but that should be fairly easy in um once we get rid of those water pumps in there okay so quite a lot to do for us but i think the progress has been uh, pretty good so far so we are gonna end the episode here so thank you very much for watching hope you had a bit of fun and i'll see you in the next one